first question is, Mike, what are your thoughts on modern day abortion being an unwitting or willful sacrifice to Moloch? You know, I, 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 I don't think there's, I mean, there, there might be somebody out there, you know, who, you know, goes in for an abortion thinking that, oh, this is my offering to Moloch, you know, or, or, or to a God. I, I basically don't think that's going to be the case, but you know, I'm not omniscient. So maybe there's somebody out there that thinks that. Uh, do I think that there's a, a sinister, you know, evil supernatural mind somehow at some place, at some point or stage uh, propelling the abortion narrative? Yeah, I do. I, I do think that there's a, a supernatural evil element involved in this. It, and when I say that, what I mean are things like, you know, the people just being taught today that the contents of a woman's womb is not human, you know, and, and that's sort of this, this trigger point uh, of justifying, you know, abortion, uh, even beyond, you know, this whole notion that, it, you know, it's, it's my body, you know, the woman saying it's my body when it's actually not. I mean, if, it, if we're talking science here, okay, let's, let's try to, you know, do some science here. The contents of the womb are genetically distinct from the woman, so therefore it is not her body. She's the host, but it's not her body that's being destroyed. It's someone else's body. Uh, genetically, the contents of the womb are human. That's all that it ever can and will be. It won't transform into something else genetically. It is human, and it's alive. If you put the contents of a woman's womb on a Mars rock, you'd say you had discovered Martian life and won a Nobel Prize. It's living. It grows. Okay. It, it is becoming what it was intended to be. It's not the same as swabbing your cheek, you know, to get human cells there because they will die. They won't grow into anything else. So it's different than that. Again, these are all scientific statements that are all very straightforward, very provable, very, very well known. But nevertheless, people are taught the opposite. So I think that whole effort again, to get people to to dehumanize humanity is something that, that's very sinister and evil. And I think supernatural evil does have a role to play in that whole process. That that I don't think that's a stretch at all. 